Can't I just take out my money? No, we won't be able to do the money out today. You need to buy her what, sorry? I need to buy my girlfriend a new set of tits. She's thinking D's or E's. I said C's are fine. What do you reckon, C's are fine? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just leaving my wife. Oh. We're getting a divorce, it's a bit messy. I don't want her to have any of my assets. She's not getting any of my cash. It's for penis enlargement surgery. So it's a, it's a pretty serious procedure. I'm not really confident in my package. I'm sure you'd know. So I just need the, the cash. I've got a sick gambling addiction. So that's why you want to block the money? Yeah. yeah. The money's probably going to go straight in the machines. I want to donate it to Ukraine. Yeah. So you're actually costing those people money if I don't get the cash. Yes. And we're doing an interview today for uh, Arizona, our school, for, our, for Gilbert High School. Could, could you guys do a quick interview for us real quick? Sure. sure. Okay. So uh, how does it feel that your girlfriend looks like a man more than you in the relationship? That's fair. Feels good? Sure, man. All right, take care. It's crazy. So who- Where's your girlfriend? So who's big scissor or little scissor? My girlfriend's in California. Oh, she is? Yeah. Oh, does she go to a different school? A different oh, school? Oh, Lord. She goes no, to a different no, school. No, no, I live in California, sweetheart. I'm just here on- uh, I'm just here to troll you. I'm I drove six- now? I drove six hours to harass you. Oh, I'm sweetheart now. Yeah. Hey, you wanna know how this can get even worse? How? You're gonna love this. Okay. All right, you ready? Sh say shout out Frank Hassel. I got this one from him. This is my cart now. This is my cart. Dude, you this is my cart. Why'd you do that? Why the fuck would you do that? Are you gonna clean it up? Bro, why would you knock You're your fucking cart over? To you took my you, you took my cart out. This is my cart. Are you gonna clean this it is up? my cart. It is. How are you gonna take my cart and go to another aisle? You're filming me. Yes, I'm right filming you. Cart. I'm gonna put you on Facebook and call you crazy. Interesting. I'm gonna call you racist on Twitter. Racist? Yeah. This is my cart. How dare you? Why are you on that? Everyone, place? this man took my cart. He's not, he's mentally, my name is Dr. Don Wario. You're mentally insane. What's your buddy doing over there now? He's twerking. He's doing did, the, did he walk away? He's doing the thug shaker. He, he got, yeah, he gave me the spotlight. He thought the bit went too far and walked away? The bit went, did the bit go too far? No, I'm just over here looking. He went to go steal some candy. That's what he oh. went to do. This guy's clearly mentally fucking insane. Hey, get out of the car. I can't believe this. Yo fam, please don't tell me I think that's what I think that is. My man said I'm doing something about this rap problem in New York City. <laughs> Light this candle, huh? I mean, sure, I'll lose everything, but then I'll have nothing to lose. Get Good morning, everybody. Okay, so really quick, I have a couple things to address and I just need you to listen to me. So I've had quite a few people reach out to me, comment, you know, just truly curious about what and why I changed. So, so listen, I was a pastor's kid for almost all my life. I grew up in church. I was always in church. You know, I was also homeschooled. So my life truly felt like a cage. And I'm not saying Christianity is a cage. I'm saying religion was the cage. I was a Baptist, you know, I was a Bas Baptist pastor's child for the longest time, right? Me and my family did not have a good relationship and I'm the middle of five children. So I'm talking about my other brothers and sisters and my parents. It just truly felt like such a cage. I was a very rebellious child, like sneaking out when I was like 16 years old. I was like, I was just going the wrong way, right? So... About four years ago, I started my OnlyFans because I think truly it was out of pure rebellion. 
And, tr and like, honestly, I'm such a like independent person that I never felt the need for a man to provide for me, like have a man in my life to provide for me. Um, so I started OnlyFans about four years ago and I climbed to top 0.01%. I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying that the devil can truly give you things in this life. He has a budget though. He can only go so far. So a couple million, okay, great. The devil can do that sometimes, right? But I truly have gifts and talents. I just did not use them in the right way. And I'm reaching out to anyone who's like, questioning what they should do in their life. And I turn to corn. That's what we're going to call it. Okay. So this is just me sharing my personal, personal experience with you. So I reached out and did corn for four years. Um, and I showed myself all over the internet. I said crazy things on podcasts. If you don't know the, I love cheating podcast. Um, and so I met this person who's now my partner and he truly showed me God's love. He was sending me Bible verses, praying over me, and we were just friends. So like the Holy Spirit was truly working and moving, but I was in such a rebellion against it because I was like, God doesn't love me. I've had to work this hard for this many years because no one cared about me. My family didn't care about me. Christianity is a cage. It's not Christianity. It's religion. Religion is the cage. And unfortunately, I didn't have like good role models growing up. My parents, my siblings, I didn't have good friends. I truly fell into darkness. And I was, like I said, I was top 0.01% creator. Like that is crazy. That is a crazy milestone to reach in that industry. So I made what I made, I did what I did, but I wanna share you, share with you guys the truth of it all because I am now giving it all up for Christ. I am now truly a believer. I would never take it back. God radically saved me from this darkness. And let me tell you again, the devil has a budget, but God does not. God literally made you he made this world he made the heavens like what makes you think that god can't bless you with anything but the devil will give you these things that trip you up and money in front of your face and these worldly friends your family that doesn't isn't there for you you know but don't be discouraged because god has a better plan for your life and let me tell you, I have felt and started living that plan. And since then, the money, the fame, the Gucci, Louis, whatever bags, the shoes, the clothing, the huge trips that I've taken doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, do you want to go to heaven or do you want to go to hell? And my soul, I'm sorry, but it's not worth going to hell for at all. And God loves you so much that he's willing to give you everlasting life. You need to understand that your life is very temporary here on earth and we all have a mission and that's to preach the word of God. Okay. I love you guys. I just wanted to clear that up and share a little bit of my testimony, but there you have it. Please be nice in the comments because just remember you are not here to judge others. God is here to judge, not you. So please, please be nice, be kind, be loving, Bear the fruits of the spirit. I love you guys. I love you so much and God bless. All I need is a love tonight. All I need is a love tonight. Раз, два, три. Yeah, All right, internet. Here is my um, kitchen. It was white. I painted it colors to support my transgender child. And I got an eviction notice. Three days to move out because I painted my cupboard. This case shows how flawed our legal system really is. This judge yells at the lady but speaks calmly and cordially to the man who killed her two sons. Ma'am, ma'am. Look at me. Ma'am! He keeps tired. Yeah. He keeps tired, ma'am! You're smiling. I don't know why you're smiling. Because I can. Well? Because I can. It's not a crime to smell. It's not a crime. Continue to smell. what you were saying. But it doesn't help you. 
all right, to irritate people. All right. And you have a lot at stake in this case. It's not a crime to smell, is it? I didn't say you could. Okay. I'm saying Continue you're not what helping you were saying. yourself. Continue what you were saying. I just, I'm not a smell. I would suggest right. you do what helps okay. you, not what hurts you. Okay. That's I do what all. I want to do. Well, Let's do see what you want to do. That's fine. Let's get that understood. I'm sorry. Let's get that understood. Well, I, I, you may not. I'll tell you what you were saying.